What's up guys, it's me, your badass ghost Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022, maybe 2023 edition? I don't know, we will find that out. Probably. If I'm doing two episodes a day, then probably so, guys. Anywho, well, guess what, guys? I dreaded this for a while, I really did, because, well, you know me. I really hate things lagging and all that stuff, but now it's time for us to go from Route 15 all the way to Route 12 and quite possibly near Vermilion City and all that stuff. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of battling. A lot of speed battling, I should say. Oh, God. Yes, this route. And, well, while I was doing this whole uh, planning and all that stuff, yeah, we're going to keep Paris on our team for the time being, mainly because... Well, there's going to be a few areas right here where you actually have to trade, or not trade, but you have to actually use cut for. So, let's go right ahead and start battling everybody, because, well, there's a lot of trainers. Lots and lots of trainers, so, yeah. Anywho, while we're doing all this, guys, let's go ahead and talk. Now, I don't know, I don't know how, uh, what was it called, um, uh, I don't know when this episode will drop. More than likely past the whole 12 year anniversary and all that stuff. And I kind of want to talk about, like, you know, my 12 years here on YouTube and all that crud. For those who are brand new to this channel and all that. Well, uh, I started off as Draven XE 711. Alright, for those who don't know, yes, I used to be Draven XE 711. And, I, you know, I've done these walkthroughs over and over and over. I was like the typical YouTuber. You know, it kind of, it kind of like you started from the ground and all the way up to right here, where you're like, you build up enough money to actually do these things, right? And eventually, I believe right around 2018, that was when I made the switch, changing it up to Gym Leader Draven and all that crud. And many of you guys who have been with me for 12 years, trust me, it's 12 long years. You guys can see that you know, it has been a. Uh, it was probably the best decision I've made because, let's see, I would I would say it would be like what? Yeah, eight years. It would be eight years for me to actually, well, eight years as Draven XE 711, and then right now four years as Gym Leader Draven. I think I've learned quite a few things along the way, and I continue to learn, especially you know with doing all these walkthroughs and all that stuff, guys. So, uh, that's why I say I hope you guys like all the, you know, all the stuff that I've been making, redoing, and all that stuff. And that's kind of the reason why I'm redoing most of these walkthroughs, because, you know, I'm getting along with the times. Eventually, I don't know how long I'm going to stay here on YouTube. Hopefully for a little bit while, a little bit longer. Not saying there's no retirement or anything, but this is a bit of a hobby for me. And some of you guys may be asking, like, hey, how much do they pay you and all that stuff? Try doing YouTube, guys. Try doing YouTube. And you'll find out that, you know, this is the reason why it's a hobby. Do I deserve more, uh, more, more subscribers? That's for you guys to, that's actually for you guys to decide and all that stuff. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just happy that, you know, I do have a set, set amount of, uh, subscribers right here, liking my content and all that stuff. So again, I thank you guys. Thank you guys for all the support over the years. Um, what may happen later on... Let's go ahead and address, like... Damn it! Come on, wake up, damn you! Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and address the newer games that are going to be coming out, and some of the games that I haven't played yet. Uh, for instance... Uh, the Pokemon... Pokemon Arceus and Scarlet and Violet. Yes, they will be coming at some point in 2023. Some point, I don't even know. I have yet to play either game. That's why I posted it up on my community page on uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. What game should I be actually showcasing right here onto my channel? Whereas the other game that you guys don't select, I'm actually going to play it for myself, you know, enjoy it, get to actually study it just a little bit. That way, many of you guys can actually get like a, a full detailed walkthrough. Kind of like, you know, my Pokemon X and or Sword and Shield walkthrough right here, because kind of feel like I did everything I could. But then it could be better, and I kind of feel like I did better, except for the, you know, little mishap of episode 42 right here. Hopefully that will be out by the, by the time we get there. And, well, look at that. We defeated another guy right here. Yeah, we're getting some points and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's that's kind of me right there. 
in a nutshell. You know, we will be having some walkthroughs. I'm kind of, you know, I, I'm kind of loving the fact that, you know, the way I've been doing the walkthroughs as of lately, you know, two per day and, and something like that with these walkthroughs, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying how it's, how it's coming out and how you guys are, you know, receiving them, which is why, you know, maybe like for me, I'm like kind of picturing a schedule of sorts of different walkthroughs throughout the throughout the week and all that stuff now let's see yeah did you know okay i don't care anywho yeah so i was kind of thinking about that uh when it comes to like you know walkthrough videos and all that stuff and you know let's see so it, before we continue on with this little reminisce like reminiscent monologue and all that stuff if you talk to this lady right here she's like chancy's cute but i don't have it do you have a Chansey? Want to trade it for an Aerodactyl? That is an interesting trade right there, and I think you can actually find a, a Chansey right here in this area. The percentage is low, but the reward is high when you actually when you can, you can actually get an Aerodactyl. So, enough me beating up on these lesser Pokemon that I've already caught. Let's go right ahead and move on right here. So yes, um, there's quite a few walkthroughs that you know I've mentioned that I've uh, said that I would be getting back to and all that stuff. One of them being Pokemon uh, Heart Gold. I know many of you guys have are pretty disappointed at the fact that I never really finished a walkthrough. And there is a good explanation to all of that. So after doing that last episode with Pokemon uh, Heart Gold, I kind of felt as though... I kind of felt as though I kind of screwed it up. Especially with, you know, my old computer just messing up in the process. And that's why I asked, would you guys like to see me restart the game? And, you know, I, I feel as though that, you know, a, a change is in order. And the other thing, too, it's getting me all hyped up for, you know, remake games, too. Like, I, I really do love Pokemon Fire Red and Heart and uh, Leaf Green. Those are some of my favorite games right there. Um, hell, I love Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. They did a great job with the, with the walkthroughs right there. I really do. And Alpha Zapfire will be in the works. The way I will do this, it depends on how my schedule will, will pan out because I've actually, you know, I've actually been a little bit more. <laughs> I've actually been a little bit more uh, conservative with my time, especially with new people that are coming in onto my gym and all that stuff. So, yeah, been uh, planning everything out just to make sure that, you know, everything is in order, everything is uh, planned out the way I want it to, and all that crud. Um,. The scheduling, scheduling the games is easy, but then just like you know, doing the work is is the other part. Because I mean, I am a one man uh, work job right here, so who knows? Who knows how many walkthrough videos I will be coming out, especially for my Pokemon Journeys HD channel. I on the back burner. I've had, I have been playing some hack games that you know I think would actually fit fitting well with the walkthroughs that I want to, you know, I want to showcase onto that channel. One of the walkthroughs, or one of the, the, the games that I've been playing, has been Pokemon Region Adventures. And as soon as I started playing that game, it was like, this is an exact game of, or a remake of Pokemon... Uh, Pokemon, uh, what was it, Brown version. So, I'm like, okay, so... I'm a little indifferent with Brown version, but then again, it was pretty fun just knowing these new things and all that stuff. Region Adv Adv Adventures will be, you know, will be in the works too, so just uh, keep that in mind, guys. Uh, any emerald, any kind of, uh, whatchamacallit, fire red, leaf green kind of uh, hack games, ruby, you know, all those kind of walkthroughs, I would definitely want to play them out. But right now, just play them little by little, speed run it, of course, that way I can actually, you know, get through the game a little faster and, you know, have the game fresh on my mind, that way I know how to actually play these games and all that crud. And, uh, well, if you guys do have a suggestion, comment down below. I know for a fact that there is one game that I, that I have my eye on, and I have yet to play, and that is Pokemon Prism. I know somebody had suggested that game. Comment down below if it was you. And, trainer tips, look right there, right on the left side of the post. Left side. Left side, left side. Let's see, left side of the post. Okay, I don't even know. Okay. So yeah, I know so like whoever suggested it, there it is, Calcium, we found it. Whoever suggested it, comment down below. 
Pokemon Prism is a Pokemon game that I, I actually, you know, like I said, have, have had on my eye on and all that stuff. And, well, let's see, he's coming out with the Farfetch and all that stuff. There we go. We're gonna have to switch out the uh, Torpedo right here, because we've been getting a lot of uh, points, so let's go with Togepri. And, there we go. Alright, so... Yeah, definitely have a lot of plans for 2023, guys. Um, shoot. Let's see, what else? I know many of you guys have asked about Pokemon Moon. Uh, I have yet to address it. So, yeah, of course. With Pokemon Moon, I did have footage from, uh... I did have the final... Well, I did have uh, footage from uh, previous gameplays that I had on it. But, unfortunately... Alongside with uh, the computer that I was using for this whole uh, for this whole game, totally messed up. And then, of course, the file got corrupted onto my Pokemon uh, or onto my Nintendo 3DS. Uh, do not know how that happened. Didn't know that it could happen and all that stuff, guys. But it actually happened, and uh, yeah, we got no more Pokemon Moon. So the plan is to buy the game physically and uh, you know play it again show it to all you guys right here. Here we have another calcium. That's awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so now we're free to do some stuff right here. Okay. But yeah, Pokemon Moon is another game that, you know, we still need to get back into it and all that crud. Anywho, let's see. What's the most important in our everyday lives? Water, toilet, food, and a lot of, uh, uh a lot of stuff that I can't mention here. So let's go right ahead with uh, Fluff Volt right here. And continue on with a Thunder Punch. And... He's coming out with another Gyarados. You see, why can't we have fishermen like this? Easy, easy experience points. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. Yes. Y'all know how much I hate these routes. That's why I'm doing them in speed versions. That way you guys, you know, we can get by, by these a little quicker. And, well, if you go right here... Talk to this individual. I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. I can see that you like fishing. There's no doubt in my mind at all. So, I know I'm right. Right? Yeah. Okay, so here we are. We're going to be getting ourselves a super rod. Okay. Look at that. That's fantastic right there. So, we're going to be moving on forward right here. And, let's see. There, There's still a lot more that we need to cover. So, Let's see, route number 12, north to Lavender Town. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be going, uh, we're going to be taking a small detour, going into route 11, and battling most of the trainers right here, because, you know, good old Draven needs to talk more. And yes, we found a revive. Yeah, Leah, my niece, when she saw the episode, she was not too thrilled about fainting and all that stuff. Yeah. Anywho, let's go ahead and start battling some trainers right here, and, well... 12 years, guys. 12 years is a long time. Some of your favorite YouTubers probably lasted about 12 years. Comment down below who's lasted that long, or as long as me. I know Munching Orange is one of them. I would say Luroy, but Luroy has yet to post anything else since, you know, his own crystal walkthrough. So, I don't know about that. And, yeah, there's no cheating, but guess what? I'm about to beat you down right here. No cheating. Let's see, who's next? And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead with speed. There we go. He's coming out with the Crobat. Let's go ahead and give some love to Fluffolt right here. Thunder Punch, and there we go. And look at that. Okay, so that was easy right there, too. So, yeah, there's a lot of trainers right here, but not a lot of, uh, whatchamacallit, a lot of uh, the old stuff that we used to love, kind of like the Safari Zone, still have it. Still have had an issue with that stuff, and there's a Noctowl, which I would want to capture. And we got one more trainer right here. Let's see, Psychic wants the battle. His name is Fidel, not so Castro, and bam. Alrighty, you couldn't foresee that loss right there. Alrighty, so here we are in route number 11, leading up to this location. Okay, so as you guys probably already know, in the Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal, Heart Gold, Soul, Silver series, that was a mouthful, there will be a Snorlax right in front of the Diglett's Cave that will enable you to go to Pewter City. Unfortunately, right now, we can't do anything about it because there is no Poke Flute, and there is one more way to go about it and all that stuff. So, we're gonna have to move on, because, uh, again, there's trouble afoot in the Kanto region. Remember, there's no electricity. 
for a nice amount of places. So we're gonna have to move on to other places right here. Let's go right ahead and go back to Togapri, Torpedo, and everything else. So let's go right ahead and start battling. Let's do our thing right here. We gotta love. We gotta love the fishermen who only have magic carp. So annoying. And look at that, quillfish. There we go. There we go. And oh, he's got a swift attack. Okay, so you thought you were gonna minimize your way around here. Okay. So he's coming out with a tentacruel. Let's go straight for Fluffolt. Now another another game that many of you guys have had to ask me is Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2. What happened? Why why restart with those again? Let's go refer back to, not that, but there was supposed to be an item right here. Hold on. Let's see. Right here? Nope. Yeah, there's no item. So, yeah, so... What happened with Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2? It, it all comes down to the old computer yet again. I now have a gaming computer. And... What ended up happening right there is that all the files got erased. Blue screen of death. The whole nine yards and all that stuff, not too happy about it, and, well, that's pretty much what happened, but in Pokemon Stadium 2, it was always an issue, due to the fact that when I was trading Pokemon left and right from yellow, from yellow to, uh, what was it called, Crystal, it froze my game in Pokemon Crystal, and I couldn't go anywhere except just select Pokemon, which one I wanted to trade and all that stuff, so... And that's probably the reason why you guys have seen some different stuff right here. And, well, here we go again. Sea Queen. Let's go ahead and start battling again. There we go. Look at that. Speed and level 54. Alrighty. And Chico's at level 56. Okay, so we're growing some levels right here. Alrighty. So here we are in Lavender Town. I cannot believe it. We went through, like, literally... Let's see... Well, we went through like five different routes. So Lavender Town has changed over the last three years. One, one of them being is the Pokemon Tower right here. The one that, you know, was haunted is no longer haunted. Lavender Town, the noble purple town. And the song has become a little bit more peaceful. This has become a radio station. And unfortunately, welcome to feel free to look around anywhere this floor. And talk to this guy. Oh, no, no, no. We've been off the air ever since the power plant shut down. All my efforts to start the, the station would be wasted if I can't be broadcasted. I'll be ruined! So, right now we can't do anything. When it comes to radio or anything like that, that's why we can't get anything on our, our radio. Sorry, but you can only tour the ground floor. Ever since Johto's radio tower was uh, taken over by a criminal gang, we have had to step up our security, which is not that bad. So, right now we can't do anything right here. Because, again, electrical problems. And, let's see, talk to this guy. That's quite some building, eh? The Kanto's Radio Tower. Tower. Now, if you go right here, people come from all over to pay their respects to their departed soul po of Pokemon. Okay. So, as you guys can see, this is, pro this is Mr. Fuji. Welcome. Hmm. You appear to be raising your Pokemon in a kind and loving manner. Pokemon lovers come here to pay their respects to the departed Pokemon. Please offer condolences for the souls of the departed Pokemon. I'm sure that will make them happy. Huh. Well, apparently this is a funeral home or something like that. Kind of sucked. Kind of really, really sucks. So, that is one. And I think... Let's see, the name raider's right here somewhere. Yeah, this is the... Yeah, this is the name raider. Home of the guy that will change the nicknames of your Pokemon that you don't like the nicknames of. If you go right here, let's see, talk to this lady. Lavender is a tiny, quiet town at the foot of the mountains. It has gotten a bit busier since the radio tower was built. Well, it offers more jobs. That's the economy right there. And, well, let's go right here. The Volunteer House. What used to be Mr. Fuji's house is now Volunteer House. Some cold-hearted people stop caring for their Pokemon. Grandpa takes in the poor homeless Pokemon that takes and takes good care of them. Remember the Cubone. Mr. Fuji does live here, but he's not home now. He should be in the Soul House. Wow, the Soul House. So morbid. Anywho. Lexi, we would stop right here, but we're on a roll, guys. We still got plenty of time. Let's go straight to Route 8 and start battling everybody, okay? A lot of the stuff that I want to... Well, 
A lot of the things that... Yeah, a lot of the things... Like, route, like these routes right here, routes 15 to 11, and routes 8 and all that stuff, these are, these are routes that I kind of didn't really want to show because, well... What's the point? It's just training and all that stuff, so might as well just speed battle them. That way you guys can get a sense of what to see and all that stuff. At least I'm not cutting them out or anything. So, let's go right ahead and take on Magnemite. So, what, what is the other order of business right here? Let's go ahead and fly. And we are paralyzed. Holy crap, bas holy crap baskets. Okay, so, we are confused. We are fully... Wow. The, the dual effect though right here. The good thing is that we do have ourselves a full restore, and, well, Shadow Ball doesn't really fit, wait, yeah, Shadow Ball can't affect uh, our Pokemon right here, so there we go, Swift Attack, let's go ahead and go to a Pokemon that actually knows how to do something here, and, Fain, or Flamethrower, and, well, it looks like we only have one Flamethrower left, bam, there you go. Okay, so, certain Pokemon that you can find right here, probably the usual. Like Meowth at nighttime, since it is nighttime. And I think you can actually find Murkrow around here too. Could be wrong. Nope, you can find a Haunter. Oh wow, we can't escape. Okay, you asked for it. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. So, let's see. Let's go right ahead and. Switch up our Pokemon right here, get some more levels and all that stuff while I continue to rant about different things of the life, of life in general. And well, we got a trainer right here. Bring it on. Okay, so let's go right ahead, Fire Punch, and he's coming out with a Muck. Torpedo, do it. Dragon Breath, there we go. And just like that, okay. Alrighty, alrighty. So this might be a shortcut, but then you got guys like this. The Power Rangers. We're the Kanto Pokemon Federation. Right on. Okay, the Federation. There's only one Federation that I know of, and that is the World Wrestling Federation, but they no longer exist. They're now the World Wrestling Entertainment. Some of you guys already know the reference. Oh, wow, don't have that. All right, let's use the other moves. And, yep, let's get it. Let's go for the Kanto Federation. The cops shut down the underground path. That really fries me. Okay, alrighty, so here we go. Strength attack. There you go. Forgive me. Yeah, we're not forgiven or anything like that. And here we have another guy. The Red Ranger. We're the Kanto Pokemon Federation trainer group. We'll drive you under our wheels. That is a god dang lie. Let's see. His name is Dwayne The Rock Johnson right here. And he's coming out with a coughing. So let's go. Let's see. Torpedo. Surf attack. There we go. Dwayne The Rock Johnson taking the surf. There we go, and we're gonna do it again. Dwayne the Rock Johnson has been defeated. There we go. Okay, so that right there, we have defeated them. But we can't go inside this place right now because, well, there, you know, there have been Pokemon battles. Now, there is a place right here that I mentioned a few episodes ago. I think it was two episodes ago where you can actually find a specific Pokemon right around here. It still grinds my gears to this very day, guys. It really does. So, let's go straight back to Route 7. If you go right here, you'll be able to find a very interesting Pokemon. And that is a Murkrow. I cannot believe you can find Murkrow right here. I'm gonna catch it, because, well, it is a very rare Pokemon. My beef with this is the fact that Pokemon like Murkrow and Houndour are, are found right here, and I'm gonna continue to try and capture with an Ultra Ball because I got it. There we go. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Um, oh yeah, Thunder Wave. I can do that. You are now paralyzed, my friend. And we're gonna go with an Ultra Ball. Come on. Oh, you suck. Okay. Uh, do I have a Pokemon that is capable? Not really. Let's see. Togepi. Crap baskets. Okay. Yeah, if we hit it one time, it's done. Okay. You know what? Screw it. Keep it going. Keep it going. Come on. Come on. Don't be lame. Let's go with an Ultra Ball. Yeah, this Pokemon will not be caught, so screw it. Let's just go with a Fire Punch. There it is. So you can find a Murkrow right here, and another Pokemon you can actually find is a Houndour. As you guys can see, really grinds my gears. Two very interesting dark Pokemon. 
The third one happens to be Sneasel, and yes, I almost... I almost wanted to have it on my team. Because, well, you know, it's a dark and ice type Pokemon. I hardly ever use ice type Pokemon. So, yeah, that is pretty much it for this episode right here, guys. We're going to be going back to Lavender. We're going to be healing up our Pokemon because in the next episode, we're going to be going straight to the Rock Tunnel and making our way all the way to Cerulean City. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient and all that stuff. Sorry about the whole ranting and all that crud. In the next episode, we're going to find some different Pokemon and, you know, capture them all and all that stuff. Thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.